First of all, I'd like to start by thanking everyone for being here to celebrate with the happiest of couples today. It's so lovely to see just how many people are here to show them how much they love them and to celebrate with them. And a special thanks, and quite a sad one in some ways, um, to Marie, who's not able to be here with us. But I know that she's been such an important part of this process for Annette and so supportive and amazing through so many things. And she did manage to create one of the greatest humans <laughs> in the whole world. Yeah. Good afternoon everybody. I've been thrust into the spotlight in the last couple of hours because of my mother-in-law. For those who don't know, she took a tumble last week, fell off a chair, broke a few bones. There are no suspects. <laughs> I spoke to Sarkham and she said nobody can prove anything. So, that <laughs> so I have, we're a modern, we're a modern wedding aren't we today? So we, I have actually a WhatsApp message from my mother-in-law. <laughs> Not a typed letter or anything like that, just a WhatsApp message. So, dearest Annette and Pete, the baby of the family. For all that you don't know, Annette is the youngest of eight children. The one that was so quiet that I had no problems with. <laughs> That's what she said here. I'm so proud to call you one of my seven daughters and even more proud of the woman you have become. Unfortunately, I can't be with you guys today. Maybe if I was full of brandy and doing Irish yoga, I wouldn't have done the damage I've done. <laughs> so if we all think about that, <laughs> nobody knows what Irish yoga is for one thing, do they? <laughs> Thank you very much for everybody coming today. Could you please get up and raise a glass for Mr. and Mrs. Brown? I'm just really happy that you've managed to find somebody who just loves you the way that he loves you and looks at you the way that he does. It's just, it's just amazing. But honestly, I think the best thing about both of you is how crazy in love you look today. Like, I would love to stand here and wish you a lifetime of happiness, but you just have to look at you two and know that you're not going to have any problems with that at all. Um, With this ring. With this ring. I promise to love and cherish you. I promise to love and cherish you. Comfort and care for you. Comfort and care for you. Honour and protect you. Honour and protect you. <laughs> Throughout our life together. Throughout our life together. So I vividly remember the first time Pete told me about meeting Annette. It was shortly after their first date told me he'd got chatting to this um, girl online and they'd arranged to go see a movie. He told me that when he'd met her, he was so taken aback by how beautiful Annette was that he thought to himself, wow, I cannot believe I'm actually on a date with this girl. When I'd met Annette, I've actually been asking, telling myself that day <laughs> every day since. And it's also, it's not what you say, it's the way you say it. And it was just a look in your, on your face when you were telling this story. And it was just like, there it is, you know. It can make me cry again, doesn't it? Yeah, well, I think as an example that love at first sight does is, exist, because it's right there. I mean, he has been absolutely besotted with you since the first moment he's met you. You know, so, thank you.
She's a beautiful person on the inside, and I think today she's made the most beautiful bride. She's, she's made my best friend the happiest man in the world, so for that, thank you very much. As friends of you both, I'm really excited to see how this new chapter in your life unfolds, and I wish you all the happiness. Um, Laura asked me leading up to um, the wedding and the hen do to, to give a paragraph about Annette and I, I simply replied beautiful, thoughtful, kind and generous are just a few words I would use to describe Annette. However words can't describe how much I love her and how I want to spend the rest of my life with her. I love it. <laughs>